welcome back on our show and with me certified swim instructors from LAC uh, Pineville. It's Cody Lambert and Grace Jeanfro. Grace, I got that yes. I was close. <laughs> perfect. That's well, perfect. Welcome to the show. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. You're certified swim instructors over at LAC. Tell me kind of what you do. Yes, sir. Um, well, as certified swim instructors, we make sure that children learn the basics for swimming, um, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, they barely want to put their face in the water or they can, you know, do a little bit already. We make sure that we know, they know, um, you know, some emergency techniques so that they're safe in the water, um, especially during, you know, their summer camps uh -huh. and uh, even when they're out on vacation at the beach or something like that. So it's, I guess, never too late to start swim lessons. We're late in the summer, but... Uh Still, Absolutely still not. Time. <clears throat> no, um, there are there have been lessons during the summer, but also we'll have some during the fall and the winter. Um, so mm -hmm. kind of all year round. But right now we have five swim instructors uh, for the summer, and then during the school year there will be three that are available. Right. And Cody is actually one of them. I am. Um, we. Uh, there's no specific time that we do swim lessons. It's really mm -hmm. up to you know this, the the uh, guards uh, discretion and almost yeah. and also the parents. Parents also. Um, uh, depends on what's what a good time is for them. Usually, mm -hmm. it's late in the afternoon during the week or early in the morning oh. on Saturday. Cody, as far as when you're when you're, you're teaching, do you do you prefer the, the kids in groups or individual lessons? Um, individual lessons gives the kid more of a one-on-one -on -one experience. Mm -hmm. um, you can teach them things that you just can't teach in a group. Yeah, but. Um, it really de it depends on the child. Um, some kids learn better in groups, learn off of others, um, have that little bit of peer pressure to um, push them to do things that they usually wouldn't be uncom you know wouldn't be comfortable doing. Yeah. Um, but me personally, I think I would uh, prefer doing groups because I feel like you can just you know they learn off each other that way and um, it's just a little better, better experience. Yeah. How, how many lessons do kids usually need, Grace? Well. For one session, it depends. If you do one-on-one, um, -on -one, you get three lessons. If it's mm -hmm. a group, you get four. And also, it depends on the child. It depends on how determined they are to get into the water. It also depends on what level they're at. Like I said, some mm -hmm. don't want to get their face in the yeah, water. I'm some, sure they're really nervous. It's sometimes oh, yes. it's a bit more Definitely. traumatic for them. So it really it depends on how fast um, they are with uh, learning all the swim techniques. Mm -hmm. But um, whether what whatever level they start at we always make it a goal that however many lessons they know they want to take or um, how many they get a chance to take during the summer we want to make sure that they know those techniques that will save them if anything if they're ever in a situation that's traumatic you know mom and dad aren't always going to be around you right, right. Um, so you, we want to make sure that they at least leave with a few skills that they can use in um, you know to get themselves out of that water safely what uh, is the most difficult part of swimming to teach a, a young child? Is there anything um, that's... Well, to toughest? begin with, uh, like I said, it depends on, you know, how, how receptive they are to the swim lessons mm -hmm. and um, how fast they can learn. But I guess the hardest thing, there's some, for a lot of kids, there's this mental block about mm -hmm. the deep end. Huh. Um, there's something that just kind of scares them. And usually yeah. it's the physical, you know, the, you know, getting those strokes in, you know, uh, like right. front crawls. Those are usually easy, but um, getting past that fear of the deep, and that's probably the hardest thing to do, and that's what takes a while. That's why it's kind of an undetermined thing to figure out how many lessons you need. It just depends on the child, but I think being able to have uh, coordination with arms and legs in the deep end is that's the sure hardest thing. Once they kind of grasp the idea of mm -hmm. swimming, it's a real uh, sense of accomplishment. Absolutely, oh, yes, and I tell them all the time, I'm like, once you got it, it's a relaxing sport, mm -hmm. something you can go sure and do. And you can do it for a, a, a lifetime. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. You said the, the, the earliest, uh, uh, you have children around the age of four. You four. think that's a good age? Four, four is a pretty good age because they can fully understand what they're doing in the water. Mm -hmm. They um, Usually kids, they when you tell them to do something, they're like, you got to give them a reason. They're like, well, why am I doing this? Usually when they're um, about four, they understand, okay, well, I'm doing this skill because it's going to help me do this right. when I'm in the water. And they're, they're a lot more receptive to the swim skills. Okay, we're about to uh, wrap things up. How do you register, sign up for classes at uh, LAC Pineville? Um, it's all personal. Um, they can just get in talk, contact with us, mm -hmm. and um, we can set up a schedule in a day, and um, we can just get everything set up and uh, whenever, go. just work around their schedule whenever and they want to you can do it year-round, take these lessons yes, year round. definitely. Just right. contact definitely. LAC and they can give you one of our numbers. All right. Grace, Cody, thanks for coming by. Thank right. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. More to come here on Good Day Cinema. Stay with us. But first, let's take a look at our community calendar.